Yes. Hi. Uh, I needed to let you know. I took a picture of your head from several different angles, and I've turned it into a non-fungible token, and I'm selling it. I have no idea what you're talking about. What's this about? It's basically your head, so it's like a 3D view, and you can kind of spin around it. I've never heard of it, and I'm not interested. Nobody's put my face on anything. Oh, no, I already have. I've got it up on this website, and people are bidding on your face right now. The bidding is up to uh, $53 right now. I don't know if you've looked up NFTs on the internet, but, you know, some of these can go for thousands of dollars. What if I give you some of the money from it? Non-fungible token. Non-fungible token. Who gave you authorization to do that? Nobody. Nobody. Non-fungible token. I'm not in Non-fungible token. Someone's going to own your face soon. You do not have authorization. I'm selling an NFT of your face. Never heard of it. It's a digital item. 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 Nobody put my face on anything. But the problem is I already put it up. There's no way to take it down once you put it up. It's out of my hands at this point. I'm sorry. Thank you, Repeat, for that copyright violation. I think the other song he sent me was also a Michael Jackson song, but I can't remember which one. Anyway, hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 803. It's brought to you by Fun Society Arcade, Tokius Pocus, Half Alpha, B.I. Ever for Life, and ZTK. I did some of these calls. I think I did one of these calls on Friday, and then quite a few on Saturday, and then I finished them up on Sunday. And I thought I was going to get this posted Sunday night, but it's not looking likely. I'm guessing Monday morning on this one. I think I mentioned it before, but I have gone through my email recently, and I have a bunch of music in here that I've never used before, stuff that people have been sending me for months. So if you've sent me music like Repeat did of that NFT song, then I'll probably be using it on a show soon. Sorry about the delay. We're having a meetup this year on September 9th and 10th in Chicago, Illinois. It's happening at the vcfmw.org, which uh, apparently is the video or no vintage computer or something of the midwest it's probably the vintage computer fair they don't really write down what the acronym is here on the website so i don't know but go to vcfmw.org that'll tell you some information really this is kind of a stupid page but wasted and dragon mirror they're just kind of piggybacking off of a, another convention for us all to meet at it's a free convention you don't have to pay anything to get in and you get to see a lot of old computer junk and somewhere around there we'll be hanging out i can't wait thanks for calling true listening to speaking hey uh this is steve dave from uh k jewelers over on the corner K jewelers yeah yeah hey we got some deliveries here for you they they're supposed to go to your place all righty here i come you need to come over and get your shit out of here sir I said I'm coming, sir. Okay, we don't have room for all this here, though. It's in the way. You better hurry up. It's been here. It's been here for like almost an hour now. You okay. Need, you need to get your shit out of here. Right. Hello. Yeah. Why did I get put on speaker? How do you know you're on speaker? Uh, because you just put me on speaker. How do you know that? Because I'm smart, okay? So, do you want me to come and get it? Oh, he's gone. Maybe he's on his way over. I'm going to try some mall calls today. It's the weekend. And everybody's at the mall on the weekend. So let's try some mall calls. Hello, Victoria. Seeker for the Spirit. Speaking, how can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Brad over at the North Face next door. Hi. Hi. Hey, I hope the hammering and the sawing isn't isn't being too loud over there. We're taking Honestly I haven't honestly I haven't heard anything. Our music is pretty loud. Okay. But I we'll we let you know. I think there's been a construction, so it it's okay for now. Okay, yeah, we're just uh we're we're we're, we're removing bits of the wall between our store. Between of our, course our no st- I'll 
I will let them know um, just so that they're aware. And then um, if it does become a problem, then I'm sure we'll let you all know. Okay. Well, we're getting ready to saw through your wall right now. We're gonna saw. Of course. Okay. We're gonna saw several uh, six foot tall windows into the wall. Okay, and that's th- right now. Like, yeah, into yeah. Here, just a second. You're gonna start seeing the saw blades come through the wall. Make sure okay. sure no customers are over there. Okay. Okay. And, let me go ahead and tell a manager first before you guys get going. And we're gonna install mirrors, like two way mirrors. Okay. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Why? Right, what's oh for the manager? Yes, give me a moment. Hold on. Okay. He's coming right now. Nothing. It's nothing. It's not right now. Hello? Hey, it's Brad from the North Face. Did she tell you what's... Hi! Hey! Did she tell you what's... What's go- up? Did she tell you what's going on? No, what's going ah, on? Ah, shoot. This all again. Um, Yeah, we're we're cutting uh holes through the wall, like uh from, uh-huh. uh, from our store to your store. Uh, it's going to oh. be... It's going to be uh, four six-foot-tall windows. Oh. And we're going to put, um, we're going to put two-way glass on it. Okay. Let me... <laughs> okay, I'm the manager on the floor, but let me get my ASM. But oh, I'll give her a headphones. You don't have to repeat yourself. Uh, okay. Give me a second. But still, you know, ah. Uh... Okay. Oh, great. I get hold music. Hello, Victoria Tigers. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, sorry, my supervisor let me know you guys are going to cut holes into our walls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got it all ready on this side. Uh, we're just getting ready to, okay. to um, punch those saw blades let- through. It's going to be six foot okay. tall. Wind- Give me. Is this a good callback number for you? I need to contact my district manager because that's uh, something that we might not be able well, to no, do all the we're open. Just, we're, we're, we're basically, we've done it. Uh, we've got the frame all built. We'll just slip on the frame over on that side and we'll install the two-way glass. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're referring to. Oh, we're putting up, uh, it's going to be uh, six-foot tall windows. There's going to be four of them. On our side of the store. Yes. And yes. And this got approved by mall management. Oh no, no, we're just we've we've uh we've do, this is all uh, donated wood and uh, we're just we're just doing it, you know. Okay, and this is, is a good callback number for you. Yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a two way glass, like mirror slash glass on it. Nine four zero zero, right? Yep, that's my number. And your first name? Brad. And you're currently, you're in North Face right now, right? Yeah. Okay. I might just have to go in there because I'm not sure exactly what you guys are talking about because okay. that's not something that got approved well, just, by our home just, office. Just make, sure some, just make sure there's no customers sitting over there by well, that sorry, wall. I'm sorry. Our store is com- it's completely open. I can't have my customers flex out of the space well, if they're shopping. Well, if you want your customers to have saw blades popping out at them, then fine. Don't don't tell the okay. customers. You, give me one second, okay? Yeah, you better go tell those customers. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to call up mall security just because what you're letting me know is not very safe. Um, give me one second, okay? I'm going to give you a call back. Okay. Okay? All right. All right, guys, start cutting. Start cutting those holes. I should have had my soundboard ready with all my construction noises, but oh well. Let's see what's going on at the North Face. North Face, how can I help you? Hey there, uh, this is Carol. Next door at Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Yeah, we just we got we got like a little bit of overstock over here. And we're gonna bring it all over to your store. Oh uh, yeah. It's 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 like uh thirty two boxes. Uh, let me ask uh, my manager. Well, we're just gonna carry them straight to your back room, okay? If you know what I mean. Right. Yeah. Let me ask my manager one sec. All right, me me and Michelle, we're gonna do that right now. All right. Is is that cool? Uh, let me ask. Like, well, uh, okay. I mean, do you have to ask? Can we just can we just do it? Wink, wink. Yeah. What's going on there in the background? Uh oh. <laughs> so in case uh, you didn't hear that, there's a lady in the background 
obviously from Victoria's Secret. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, it's Carol. Who is, speaking? who is this? Oh, this is Carol over at Victoria's Secret. Yeah, we got kind of a, a bunch of extra stock here. We just need to keep it in your back room for a couple of days. Uh, fortunately, we're unable to do so. Sorry oh, about that. Well, why not? We're, we're neighbors. Come on. What was your name again? Uh, my name is Carol. Carol? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Please don't call us again. Thank you. Well, no, I just want to keep boxes there. Yeah, I may have to abandon this mall now. Shit's getting real. They're going to start warning everybody. But that could be fun. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Levi's. It's, um, how can we help you? Hey, it's uh, it's Greg from J Crew. Uh, yes, sir. Um, you know, did, like, or were you? Yeah, what? I'm sorry. What? What was that? What? Oh no! Like, so, uh, what was your question, sir? Oh, uh, did you know we share a wall? Like, I know we're not next to each other, but near the back, we share a wall. Uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I've been opening up stuff on this side. I found phone lines that belong to you guys, and I was able to plug a phone into it and, like, use your phone like I'm in there. I don't understand. Yeah, you know, there's, like, wires in in the walls. They have, like, phone lines and stuff and the Internet. Okay. And all that. Well, I mean, like, okay. I, 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 uh, I wired up a phone to, to these phone lines, and, uh, you know, I dialed a number that tells you your caller ID, and it's you. I, I made a call from your phone. So if you ever pick up your okay. extension and you you hear me on it, that's why. Because your phone lines go right through the wall. Right. Okay. Um. Weird. Do, like, do the other managers like know about this? Oh or, no, no, like, no. This is my, I, our little secret. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Like, um, I don't think we're supposed to be sharing lines. That's why. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm not gonna make long distance calls or anything weird like that. I just thought it was cool. And uh, also, I've been poking holes in the walls over through to your side. I can see you guys over there. Okay. Um. So I, and you're in the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I can see you guys over there. I can see your customers and stuff. Oh, okay. I see, sir. All right. Um, I poked, cool. I poked little holes. Okay, sir. So I'm sorry if I damaged anything over there. I was just poking little holes. Oh. Like I did four holes. Okay. <laughs> All right. None and of, you're Greg from J Crew. Yeah. None of them are in the dressing rooms or anything like that. It's nothing weird. I understand. I, I just thought but, it was cool. Okay. I, was, I was poking holes, so I we you know. Okay, I, sir. Hey, um, you know how you know at people's doors they have those little peepholes. Yes. I'm gonna order some of those, and I, I want to go ahead and, and make these look like you know they belong there on the wall, so it's not just a hole. So I'm gonna come over to your side, and I gotta install that side first. It's basically just hammered in, hammering it into the hole. And then I'll come over okay. my side and, and screw that part on. And we'll have, like, little, um, little peepholes. Right. So I don't... So any, like, um, construction like that, like, needs to go through, like, with the, with the mall. So well, they're, they're just holes. I understand, but, like, um, that, like, we can't have any, like, construction like that, like, without getting approval from the management and also well, from our corporate office. I called your corporate office from your phone number since I have these phone lines in the wall and I said we approve it. Um, okay. I don't think so. Yeah, like we, we haven't gotten approval from that Like, and I know, we've but been I, running I, the store without I pretended to be you. Cause I, I understand, sir, but you pretending to be that, that's against like our like um, company policies. So you're not allowed to do that. Oh, well, I didn't know that at the time when I made the call. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, like, but no, no matter what, you can't like poke holes into our walls, and you shouldn't be doing anything that goes into our location. Okay, well, I, I was just, you know, slow day. It's like it's not Sunday evening, you know. I, I understand. Like, um, let me. What if? Uh, yeah, like, um. What if we put a window in the wall? 
Cause I'm sorry, I, sir. Like we like it's really busy right now. So like, unless you have like anything else, like no, um, I really need to go back we, to the. We seriously part. have a, a real window over here. I think it was for a display once. We could put this. We could install this in the wall, and just have a window between our two places. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, sir. Well, we could try and it. Like, and if it doesn't no, we work, cannot, we'll sir. just we'll just seal it back up. We cannot, sir. And like you, like you're nowhere near us anyway because you're. You said you're at J Crew. Like our two stores are. Like there's no J Crew like behind it. Like unless it's like behind the mall. No, no, no. It it's a uh, it's catty corner. You know, like you got that weird acrylics thing next to you. Uh, they're directly behind us. So we just share the back of the wall, like the very, very back. Even though we're not technically next to each other, we're still next to. E look on the map. Just go look at the map. Yes, sir. We'll, uh, go out yeah, and look we'll at the go map. look at the map. Like, and, okay, sir. All right, thank you. Go you go look at that map. I can't believe he's doubting me. So that was Levi's. Let's call up J. Crew. I went over to the other side of the mall because I figured like security's going to start maybe uh, talking to people and telling them not to believe what they hear on the phone. I don't want that. Thank you for calling me. This is how I help you. Hey, uh, this is Brad over at the. Over at the Levi's, mm -hmm. and we got some some boxes here for you. Okay, um, like, can I put you on hold? They were delivered. Yeah. Okay, put, uh, let me put you on hold. Press that hold button. Yeah. <laughs> oh hell yeah, this song. Uh... Hi, thanks for holding. This is Summer. You guys are at Levi's, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got like all these boxes here for you. How many do you have? I don't know, but you need to come over here and get your shit out of here. Oh, my God. Because, okay. you know, you have a bigger store than us, so come That's get these fair. boxes out of the way. How, uh, do you want me to come to the front? Uh, is there a back? I mean, do you, do you have a back? or? I don't know. Is there a hallway? I, I mean, I have a back. And uh, it's, like, right next door to you. Oh, weird. Yeah. Weird. Cause you're you're on the back side of us, yeah. Yeah. Well, not no. Jo Georgiana is. Look at the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right next to Georgiana. I'm literally right in between you two. This it's, doorway. It's, it's Georgiana. Yeah. No. I can. I can. I can come. Do you want me to come in the front way? I'm saying. Don't be gross about it. Come on. No. I, you, honestly, I'm just trying to get my shit. All right. You want me to come into the front, the front of the store with my my, my wagon? Sure, yeah. Come okay. over here and get your shit out of here. All right, give me give me like ten minutes. I'll be there. All right. All right. Five would be nicer. I'm so confused. I kind of thought she didn't believe me, but I guess she's still coming over. Let's give Tommy Bahama a try. I don't know what that is either. It's dedicated to the good life, stylish, upscale offerings. Tommy Bahama, so this is Robin. Hey. It's uh, Dave over at the, the cell phone repair kiosk. Yes. Uh, I'm going to be mo moving my kiosk into your store for a little bit. You are? Yeah, they're going to be polishing the floors over here. So do you have a, uh, a plug for me to plug into? Uh, hold on just a minute. It's cool. I got internet already. All right. One moment. Thank you for holding. This is Katie. Hey, Katie. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be moving my kiosk into the into your store. Like, just, um, just, just inside the door, you know, just right there, right as you first for, walk for in. What, what kiosk for what reason? Oh, I'm at the cell phone repair kiosk. And it, it just rolls over. It's really easy. Um, yeah, you can't roll it into our store. You're not a part of our company, so no. Yeah, I know, but they're going to be um, doing the floors around here, they said, probably. That's that's totally fine. Then you have to work something out with the mall then okay, to where well, you need to move your is it kit. Just you don't yeah. want to provide my power? Like, I'll just run an extension cord. We have an extension no. cord. No, unfortunately, I cannot do that. We're owned by a corporation. Okay. No, no, we're owned by a corporation, so you'd have to clear that with them, but you should probably take it up with the mall office. Oh, no, I'm, I'm bringing my kiosk in there because they said I could. Uh, no, they, they definitely would not have said that without clearing that with us first. Oh, yes, he I, did. It was the the, uh, the the janitor guy. The, yeah, the janitor can't make those calls. That would you would have to co cover that with the general well, he's, manager. He's older of them than all. me. 
Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and hang up cuz I'm pretty sure this is a prank. Um you're not moving your kiosk into the store. You would have to clear that with the mall office. I'm moving my um, kiosk. And they would have to clear I'm going to be there okay. in about 5 okay. minutes. I just got to okay. secure everything here. Get it ready and I'll roll it all in. All right, I'll meet you at the door. Okay. Don't be trying yep. to block me. Okay. All right. I love you. Thanks. People are just not friendly in this mall. They don't care that you're neighbors. It's like every man for himself. For calling Coach Storm, this is Philip speaking. Hello, this is Kevin uh, over at the uh, Aesop store. Uh huh. And we got some uh, package deliveries here for you, like for your store. Okay. And they're um, ki- they're kind of in the way, so maybe you should just one. come on and get your shit out of here. You know, come over here and maybe just get your shit out of here, please. Wait, okay. I'm sorry, but I don't know who you think you're talking to, but that's not... Okay. Oh, okay. what? That's, like, that's, that's not... not that's, that's not. That's really not how you should really talk to someone. Okay, well, I'm okay. just tired of your shit beating my way, so... Get over here and get your that's, shit out of here. That's, that's, totally, that's, totally, that's totally understandable, but that's not how you would talk to someone like that. Especially if I don't know what's going on. Yeah, well, I already told you what's going on. There's several boxes over well, yeah, here. Yeah, I know. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a nicer way to really address someone. I'm, I'm about to just that's... drop kick these boxes straight out the door. Let, let the hallway okay. deal with it. Okay. But it'd be nicer if you could just come over here and get your shit out of here, please. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Elena. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Elena. Uh, it's uh, Kevin over here at ASOP. Is he, is he on his way over? I don't know what you're, what you're referring to. This is the coach store. Yeah, I called the coach store. Did that, that guy uh, hand the phone over to you? Yes. But so he, what can he, I help you with? He didn't tell you a single thing I said? He didn't set it up for me? No. What can I help you with? Oh, we accidentally got some of your packages over here. That's all. I thought he was on his way to come and get them. We got a delivery no. f- for your store. Okay, and where are you calling from? From Aesop. Just, just down the hall a little bit. Across the hall. Okay, well... Yes, okay, thank you. We'll come yeah. We'll come by and pick them up. We're, well, we're when? Busy when? Yet. You know what? Uh, we're busy too, and you need to get your shit out of here. What is your name? Kevin. Why? Okay, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah, we're. I will go over there and I'll speak to the manager. Yeah, hurry up and get your shit really out of here, lady. Like it's been it's been here all day. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna get me fired. We're calling Santelo. This Maria. How can I help you? Hello. Hey, don't you yell at me, lady. Who's this? This is Carol. Over over the Carol. Yeah, over at the Starbucks. You are in Starbucks or what? I work in Starbucks, lady. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. You got, good. Pro- you got a problem with that? No. Okay. <laughs> good. You better not have a problem with it. Can I help you with anything? Uh, this is Carol from Starbucks. And we got some boxes here for you. Oh, they delivered hold them. Hold on, bo- one. Oh, you have boxes for us? Yeah, I got a box for you, Mm-mm. lady. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So when's someone gonna come and pick up these boxes? Are they for Aunt Taylor? Yeah, they're for you. You need to come over <laughs> here and get your shit out of here. Oh, my gosh. You know, you don't need to talk that way. Well, you know, these boxes are in my way, and I'm I'm mad about it. <clears throat> Damn boxes. You know? Hold on one second. What are you doing? Hello, may I help you? Hello. It's Carol from, from Starbucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got a box here, some deliveries. 
they they uh, they belong to you. So you need to come over here and get them. Okay, I'll tell Maria. Yeah, you tell At Maria. Starbucks? You tell Maria to come over here and get her shit out of here. Okay. You gotta say it like okay. that. Say it like that. Okay. Say Maria, you need to go over there and get your shit out of there. Okay. Thank you. I love you. I like that first lady, but that lady just made me depressed. Whoa, you sound like shit. I'm sorry? You sound like shit. Your connection's all wonky. Uh, we just got a new phone line, so it's, we're trying to get used to it, try to get it all figured out. Oh, there's no getting used to it. Like, you sound like shit, ma'am. Okay, I'm You're sorry. If you'd like to like... call, try call back. It's it's slowly getting better. Uh, okay. Can, uh, what can I help you with today? Oh well, this is uh, Dave over at Maurice's down the hall. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be sending an employee over with an extension cord, and he's just gonna plug it into one of your outlets, and then uh, over a buckle, uh, he it, he's gonna bring an extension cord over too, and he wants to plug it into another outlet, different than the first one. We're gonna try something. I'm from you're calling Torrid. Do you know you're calling Torrid? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm with Maurice's and the guy with buckles involved too. We're gonna try something. So we're uh, just, so we're we're both gonna be bringing in extension cords and just plugging them in and it'll just be like that for a little while. And yeah. who do you work with? We're gonna try something. I'm with uh, Maurice's Maurice's clothing store? Yeah, yeah, just a few doors down from you across the hall. Are you doing technology over there? Uh, well, you know, this has nothing to do, to do with my work, really. Uh, we're just going to try something. Okay, well, I can't let you into my back room unless you have some sort of identification. Uh, we're not going in the back room, just in the front room. Just in the store, okay. in the store area. We're going we're gonna to plug in some things into your outlets. We're, we're just going to connect the stores. It's going to be like a, a three-way connection. We're going to try something. A three-way connection. Oh, God, you're sounding like shit again. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'll Wait, the you, door. Know, you know what? Um, yeah, we'll just come in and do it, okay? We're on our way. I'll talk to you when you get here. Or, Bye. Well, we, that's not necessary. Wow, what a shitty new phone system that they apparently just paid for, and that's what they're getting. Close to Zoomies. Hello, uh, this is Kevin from the corporate office with Zoomies. I was calling to do How the, you doing? Pretty good. I was calling to do the weekly customer survey. Do you have a customer in there I can speak with? Uh, customer that you can speak with? Yeah, we're going to do the weekly customer survey with them. Is there a customer in the store right now? Yeah, we got a bunch of customers. What, okay, what yeah. Are you saying, Just a random customer. This is Greg from the corporate office. Of Zoomies. Yes. It's just going to be a quick huh, I've never heard of this before. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we try to do this at least once a month for each store. Um, okay. Uh, give me just a second. Okay. You guys busy? Am I busy? Yeah. No. Yeah. So, my corporate office wants to do a random survey with a customer in the store. Okay. Would you be open to that? Yeah. Yeah? Sure. Okay. All right, I'm going to hand you off to somebody now. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey, is this a customer? I am a customer. Oh, thank God. All right, walk away from that man. Walk away from him. Okay. He, we are away from each other. Okay. I'm actually an employee here. I was out back smoking weed, and I locked the door. I locked myself out. I need you to go to the back and open up the back door for me. <laughs> the back left door? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was out here smoking <laughs> I was out here smoking weed in the back hallway, and, and I'm locked out. I'm going to get fired if no. he finds out. Hello? You got to be kidding me. 
Oh no, no. Yeah, just, just just walk to the back room. Tell him the voice on the phone told me to go to the, go to the back room. The emergency exit door. Yeah, yeah. You know the yeah. The one, I got you. And then the next left. And it's completely locked. Ah, Dog. shoot. Maybe, yeah. maybe you got to kick it. got to kick that open. Are you next to the Macy's? Yeah. I think it's a prank call. Yeah. What? I think so, dude. Who's he saying? That someone's trying to get in right here, and he works here. Hello? Hello. Yeah, I'm just making a prank call, sir. But, oh, my God, imagine if I was some sort of crazy organized crime burglar guy just trying to let someone in the back door. You should be more careful handing the phone off to customers, sir. Yeah, all right, buddy. Have, have a good day. Well, it was just a joke, you know. Just kidding. I guess he actually went to the back room and was trying doors. I thought he was going to make an alarm go off trying to get through a door that you're not supposed to go through. But I, I want to play back the audio that I was just hearing while I was talking. The guy in the background was explaining everything. I'm going to turn off my side of the audio and see what we can hear. I guess it's a prank call. Yeah, I think so, dude. What was he saying? That someone's trying to get in right here, and he works here. Hello? And I was like, no. And I was like, I, I worked with him. So for me, I was like, I'm not trying to tell you anything, but this is real awesome. My boss is and then okay, I'm stuck outside. Weed, and I'm high. And I was like, huh? Yeah, all right, buddy. Have, have a good day. Sorry about that. So does that mean I didn't talk to a customer? Because he wasn't really talking like a customer at the end. A customer guy that walked to the back room with me. I just got tricked by Zoomies, I think. Maybe. Maybe he was a customer. I don't know. Or maybe he worked at a different place. We're calling Claire's. Oh, hey. This is Carol over at Bath and Body Works. Yeah, what can I do for you? Oh, you, you doing Okay. Okay, I, I just I know I know Claire's isn't doing well financially, and they're probably gonna go out of business soon. I'm I'm so sorry. No, we're doing great. Oh yeah, no, I know. I read the papers and then the, watch the news. I get it. It's okay. You can confide in me if you ever need to. No, we're doing great. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, we have some boxes here. I was delivered from oh I don't know who, but. Uh, they're supposed to be over at your place. I don't know why they left them here. Oh, okay. Um, is it possible for me to pick them up tomorrow? Uh, no, you need to come over here and get your shit out of here. Oh, okay. I'll I'm go real ahead and tired call security of your shit. See if they can, what? If they can go get it. What's that? It's okay. I'll go to security and see if they can pick it up for me. Oh, that's not what security is for, you idiot. Why don't you just go and get your shit out of here? Okay, we will. Have a good day. Okay, well... Do it yourself. Don't be so lazy. Mm -hmm. I love you. You know, used to, I'd always see stuff come up on my feeds about Claire's being doomed. But I don't really see that anymore, so it's getting less funny to do that. Same thing with GameStop. They were doomed for years, but now they seem to be doing just fine. Hello, this is our pasta. How may I help you? Hey, uh, I'm in your back room right now. Like, you know... Where you keep the extra stock and stuff. Uh-huh. And I'm just a customer. I probably shouldn't be back here, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but, like, do these breaker boxes do anything? Why? I wanted to push all the buttons. Don't push the buttons. Well, would they turn off any lights in the store? Um, yes. Hold on, I, wanna, I just want to try something. Don't do that. No, I just, I'm, I'm going to see if they shut down the computers. Well, that didn't seem to shut down anything. What does the other box do? Um, I don't know what box you're looking at. Oh, should, should I just leave all those off? I don't think they were hooked up to anything. Uh, you probably should stop touching it. Well, should I turn them back on? Who are you snapping at? I'm not snapping at anybody. I heard someone snap their fingers. Nobody was snapping. I recognize secret codes when I hear them. I'm not snapping at anybody. Oh, I think you were snapping. Or somebody was snapping I at think, you. I think you probably should get out 
of the back room. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to flip more switches. Oh, you probably should stop flipping switches. Why? I just want to see. I want the lights to turn off for a minute. You're not sending anyone back here, are you? Is that what you're snapping about? No, nobody's back there. Oh, thank God. Well, I'm back here. Yeah. What's all that hubbub in the background? Um, there's music playing. And hmm. I have an employee doing a, a cross transaction. What's a cross transaction? She's doing a transaction. She's doing a return. So they're the ones talking. Was it on her uh, credit card? I don't know. I'm going to need that credit card number. No, thanks. No, I need it. I need it now. Why do you need it? Why do you need it? Because uh, I'm a fraudster. Oh. That was a strange sudden hang up. Thank you for calling, Ari. This is Christine. Hey, Christine. It's Eddie over at Champs. Hey, what's up? Uh, can you stop licking your lips at me? It's a little weird. I'm sorry. Um, thanks for that. But if you want to do a call like that, you're going to have to do that somewhere else. Thank you. Well, no, I'm just asking you to cut it out. Wow. A call like that. What does that mean? What is she trying to say? That might be the last call of the show because this mall is about to close. It's within uh, a minute now. So I don't know if I'm going to get answers from anyone else. Thank you for calling American Eagle. This is Stephanie. How may I help you? Hey, Stephanie. It's uh, Craig over at the, the Journeys. Okay. And uh, I was in there last night in your store. Uh, I came in after hours with the janitor. And I think I left some CDs on the counter. Did you find any CDs uh, this morning? No, we didn't. There's no way you would have been in here with us after hours unless somebody was here. Oh, no. he's He's got keys and everything. He lets me into no, other. No, he doesn't. Or, yes, he does. No, he, he doesn't. He lets me into other stores. Okay, cool. I'll be letting Barb know that that's happening. No, don't tell Barb. Have a good night. You, you're and not. I, can, you're, I have. Eddie says more aces, so you have a good night. You're you're not even listening to what I'm saying. That's not how you solve a problem. That was so rude, and I didn't even understand what she said at the end. I don't know what the hell that was. Hello. Hey, is this the uh, Auntie Anne's pretzels? Okay, I work over a Hollister behind you. Uh-huh. Did you notice we drill holes in the walls today? Did I know? I know. I don't think so, no. We try to do it stealthy because we didn't really want you to see it, but like we just wanted to be able to smell your pretzels. Oh, <laughs> what? And, and that didn't really work. Like, I don't smell anything through these holes, but now we can see you guys when we, when we peek through them. Okay, that's a little awkward. Okay, I'm sorry. We we're just trying to do something fun here. We we're trying to make it smell like pretzels. Like maybe it'll be better tomorrow morning. Because do you like first cook them in the morning? This is a joke, right? Oh no, uh, you'll see the holes in the back. You know the wall. In the that, back. What? You know the wall that we share. Right. Yeah, but like you know, I, I don't smell anything from there. That's. I don't know. <laughs> How come I'm on speakerphone? Are you on speakerphone? Because I'm trying to close the store. Oh, are there people in there? Huh? Is there people? I mean, I thought you said you could see us through the holes. Well, I'm not at the holes right now. My phone doesn't reach over there. Uh, are there any customers, like, at the counter? No, we don't have any customers. Um, is, there, is there anybody <laughs> walking by? No. Oh. I mean, I don't. I wanted to yell, attention, customer. And then oh. uh, something embarrassing about you. I don't know oh. what it would have been, though. So you work at Hollister? Yes. And what was your name? Eric. Eric. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I won't be perving out on oh, at the holes, I promise, okay? All right. Well, if I find those holes, they will get covered. No, don't do that. Because we have, like, wait until at least... At least we until after tomorrow morning because we want to see if we can smell pretzels. I mean, if you just step outside the store, you can smell the pretzels. Uh, why don't you shut your mouth? <laughs> Bye. 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 Well, this is kind of fun calling up people as they're closing. Except I've pretty much called every place in this mall. I think. 
Thanks for calling Planet Express. This is Q. What can I help you? It's Eddie from the mall office. I'm sorry? Eddie from the mall office. And and I forgive you, ma'am. You want to talk to Eddie? Oh, no, no. My name is Eddie. Oh, okay. The mall. What time is the mall? At the mall office. office. The, I'm at the mall office. No, the mall the mall is uh, closing at 7 o'clock. I know. That's why I'm calling. Why is your power still on? Can you go back to your breaker box and shut off the power, please, real quick? Oh, okay. Can, we can, can just turn it off, the light. Oh, no. You need to go back to the breaker box because we're working on the thing. And we just need you to shut off the power. Shut off all the power immediately. Can you go back to the breaker box right now and shut off all the power? I can't because we're cleaning. Oh, well, just for a minute. So, so we can do this. So we can do the switch over. Are uh, you? It'll take a okay. split second. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, guys, can you talk to him? He wants for all the lights off right now, for all the power off. Is you're doing something? Can you confirm with him? Hello. Oh, hello. We're doing the switch over. This is the mall office. Oh, okay. We just need all those breakers off. Just for a minute. Just for a, a small minute. Okay, are you in the hallway right now? No, no, I'm in the I'm in the mall office. Oh, it's gonna uh, Okay, how how many minutes? Oh, just like less than a minute. Thirty seconds. We gotta do the, the switch switch over. Okay, um, Every single one? Yeah. Is yep. there like a main? Every. Uh, oh, no. You can't do the main switch until all the little switches are off. Okay. And then we'll do okay, the switch. Okay, here we go. We'll, okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll listen as you hit all the switches. Okay, and then you'll call us back to turn it back on, or, or oh. am I staying on the phone with you? Oh, yeah, if you could just stay on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I can't see. Oh no! What do you do? <laughs> you better turn those back on, sir. Someone might get hurt. Wow, I can hear... I can hear all the chaos. You better turn those back on. I'm getting I'm getting nervous. Turn those switches back on, sir. Tur and I got hung up on. I don't know if that's because he hit another switch and his cordless phone shut off, but no, I don't think that was it. I think it's because I started acting too weird for him. So hopefully he's getting that power back on. I don't want anyone slipping and falling into a vat of grease. Hey, Brad, it's Next Door Nick. Hey, Next Door Nick. And, uh, yeah, listening to one of the... Most recent snowplow shows, there was like 801, 802, maybe 800 or something, 799 even. Maybe, maybe and 798. And one of those said you, uh, you're filled up on voicemails again. Well, I remember back in 2014, 2015, you had an entire snowplow show dedicated to listener voicemails, about an hour and a half long. Yeah. So might be high time to do that again. Or just throw it on the uh, Patreon feed. Everybody complains at me when I do that. To make, the, uh, make more listeners pay you. Okay, bye. I don't know if they're paying for the voicemails. Hi, Brad. This is Hobo Cactus, the son of Redbird. I have a suggestion for you. Pretend you're a restaurant worker and say, hey, we, we, this is your food, but there's one problem. A hobo made it. Wow. Love you. Bye. Wow. That's offensive to hobos. You have a problem with hobos making your food? Why? What's wrong with hobos? Listen here, Redbeard son. It's 2023. And if a hobo wants to work at a restaurant, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey, Brad, call me Texas calling in. I was just calling to complain that, like, a lot of the people that leave voicemails on this show are just as stupid as the people that you make prank calls I to. agree. Because, you know... Red beard, son. No, just kidding, just kidding. Prank just... calls when you're yelling, turn your fucking TV down, I can't hear a thing, or... Like, don't use your shitty car phone. I can't understand what you're saying. Yet all the people who are calling into the voicemails have their TVs blaring in the background. And Idiots. they have their car windows rolled down. They have their smoke detectors on. Driving to 60 miles an hour. 
and they're using their shitty car phones that sound like garbage. Yeah. How's about if you're leaving a voicemail, don't do it when you're Go driving. rent a sound booth. Go rent a professional sound recording studio. It'll cost you $75 for an hour, probably. Just go in there and record your voicemail. And don't do it when you're doing something else. Just, like, leave a voicemail. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Love you. And don't be drunk or high. I'm not impressed. Hey, Brad, it's Matthew from Maryland. Fuck you. Oh, there's a cute bird in the background. As you said, fuck you. Hey, Roy, it's T Falcon here. Hey. It's been a, quite a long time since I called in. Yeah, what Just the wanted hell? to let you know. I backed into our neighbor's car today. Oh, no. They are brand new neighbors, and this is how we met them. Um, uh, so, yeah, it just made me think of, I'm sorry, ding your car, and listening to no. But see, that's I, what you should have done. Instead of coming clean and admitting that you did it, you should have left a note on their car with my phone number, and it would have been hilarious. I actually had to leave a real note. So, yeah, that was quite an experience. Anyway, I love your show, and hey. I am going to keep listening. You better. I'll on again soon. See you, Brad. Bye. Bye. Learn how to drive. Get a backup camera or something. Hey, Brad. This is Randall from Pearland, Texas. Hey, Randall. Paul and I finished your book today, and it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. And <laughs> you it was sound so surprised. A better written than I thought it might be. Lots of good stories. I especially liked it. Lots of typos, lots of grammatical errors. That you're down here around Pearland and League City and Galveston, so I'm familiar with uh, places you'd worked and lived. So, yeah. uh, enjoyed the book, and talk to you later. Did you guys know that there's a Phone Losers of America book? Apparently it's pretty good, especially if you live in Pearland, Texas. You can find the PLA book by going to Amazon. And searching for Phone Losers of America in the book section. Thanks for doing another Brad's Cactus Shack. I really appreciated it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for creeping me out, sir. Hello, Brad. This is Jesus Penus. I'm calling from the International Space Station. Hello. Just wanted to let you know that contrary to popular belief, I was not gushing over you in the, the uh, Frank Cast chat. So Amanda Hug and Kiss is lying. Goodbye. Uh, he's always lying. He's a known liar. I don't even know what you're talking about. Man, I basically played no voicemails at all in April. There are so many voicemails in here. Let's play like one more, maybe. Okay, one more. Just one more. It's a short one. Hey, Brad. Thanks a lot. I'm a relatively new listener, and I just spent like 20 minutes trying to find episode 404 as I was looking through old episodes. Now I feel like a shit pants fool, thank uh -huh. you. So... Fuck you. What are you talking about? It's right there. It's so easy to find. So this show has been sponsored by Fun Society Arcade, Tokius Pocus, Half Alpha, B.I. Ever for Life, and ZTK. They support the show over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers. You can do that too if you want to support the show. You get an extra show every week. On average, sometimes you go a couple weeks without one, but I make up for it. Okay, calm down. I'm going to play a song for the end by Carter Pillar that he apparently sent me two years ago, and I'm just now playing it. I know I said uh, earlier in the show that these are just songs from the past two months, but apparently this one I ignored for two whole years. You're welcome for that, Carter Pillar. This is a seven minute long tribute to Carlito. Enjoy. Hello? This is the district treasurer and the manager here for the region, the regional manager. And I'm his supervisor. Who is it? I think we just told you that, didn't we? I'm Eddie Cross. I'm the district treasurer. And that's my supervisor, Roy. Yep, Roy Dabalina. Roy Wong. And yeah. you guys just went to the store right now. Yeah. yeah. There was a big fracas here and everything because she accused, at first she accused the co-workers of a fight. They pulled the scissors on each other. They were like trying to fight each other with them, the scissors, and it got broken up. And then we reviewed the camera and we saw it was a customer view. So you're a real bitch. You've been, be you've been a bitch before in this restaurant. And the computer scanned and captured you. And when you came in, your face for sick recognition. 
who came up as this is the notes here says big bitch and not to not serve you. It says you're on a to go to go only. Why are you a shook somebody you ain't never seen before? Okay, listen, just forget about all that. I'm, I'm I got a converter box here I think you'll like. Who are you? I'm calling about your donkey. Uh yes, sir. Will, will he fit in a, a? It's not a compact car, but it's a, it's a Lincoln Town Car. Would you be able to deliver him to Eddie's Bar and Grill? It's going to be for a kid's birthday party. We're going to be uh, oh, okay. slaughtering him in front of the children and we're eating him. You're not attached to him or anything, are you? No. <laughs> Thank God. You don't care that we're going to eat the donkey. I'm sorry, Brad. No, no, it's okay. That, you don't care that we're gonna eat the donkey. You like, you sure, whatever. Why are you getting married? Why are you getting rid of it? Are you getting divorced or something? Or did you? Well, no. And the name of Satan. The name of Satan. Okay, hurry the fuck up. Hello. Yeah, you got a heat pump for sale? I do. Alright, um, how much heat does that make? Are, are you on the mic, Carlito? Carlito? Oh, he's just kind of spacing out. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, we dropped something in your yard. Are, are you there to go out and check? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hello? Um. This is a pretty exciting helicopter ride so far. Though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a great day for a helicopter ride. Can you hear me? Dale? Yeah. Okay, we're we're flying above your house right now. I'm in the helicopter with Cross. Are you home? Can we land on your property, please? Who is this? The, my name's Brad and that's Cross. Cross is the pilot. Yeah, Captain Cross. Yeah. Labia. Hello? Hello, Mr. Yes. Uh, th this is uh, Professor Roy. I'm in a helicopter right above your house. I'm with Fox 2 News. I'm sure you are. No, we've got a package for you. We're going to be dropping it off from the air onto your porch. Uh, my my co-pilot, uh, Carlito, is right here. We just want to walk you through this real quick. You need to stay off of your porch because we don't want to hit you with the box. Sir, th we spoke earlier. This is the best I can do, best arrangement I can do to get you your package without the sex offender coming anywhere near your area. Wave at us. Go ahead and wait. Yeah, go ahead and drop it. Please make sure it gets on the porch. Uh -huh. Now it's going to hit you. Get off the porch. Hey, I'm going to throw a couple bowling balls down there too, all right? Oh! <laughs> uh -oh. No, it's not. Here we go with the lawyer talk again. It's called harassment, and uh, you need to stop. Okay, we'll stop. Harassment is subjective and very hard, very difficult to prove in a court of law, sir. Uh, actually, it's not. My co-pilot here knows the law. He, he's Telephone law, I know all about. Practically a lawyer. Do you stack your suspenders also? You're like, I'm no big city lawyer. You know, just we, we, we've been up here for a couple hours now. Uh, my pilot, Carlito. Are you there, Carlito? Uh, he's... He's busy. 
He shouldn't even be doing this because he's supposed to be piloting the helicopter, but he's just out of his seat and has his seat belt off. Like, do you have a fish tank? What? I'm here. This is Captain Cross. I'm sorry, I'm trying to fly. Do you have a fish tank in the house, ma'am? Uh, yeah. Hey, good. Listen, my name is Cross. Um, the captain here on this helicopter, we're currently flying over your home. Okay. We're in a holding pattern right now. The airport's full. Okay, uh, do we have clearance to go ahead and land on your property? You do not. <laughs> okay, well, we kind of have an emergency, and FAA rules say we have to at least ask, but if we, if the pilot declares an emergency, he's allowed to land wherever he wants within reason. Oh, absolutely. You can, you can do that if you got an emergency, but I thought well, you were joking, man. No, i got to take a shit, basically, is what's going on. <laughs> um, do you have a facilities inside that I can use? Yes. Okay, do you have good toilet paper? Yes, I got it, man. I got everything you need. What brand toilet paper? Oh, shit. Uh, Charmin, man. Nothing but the best for you. Okay. 